Well, perhaps you saw the movie Wedding Crashers. It was funny, unless it happens to you in real life. It's happening more than you think, actually. And they're not just crashing the party, they're stealing from it, mooching off your matrimony. Tonight, our own Paula Ferris showing up at someone else's wedding. Does anyone even notice? And caught on tape here, what others have gotten away with. I now pronounce you man and wife. I'm ready to get drunk. Who is that? Who is that? The three words a wedding crasher never wants to hear. It's bad for business. Mazel wedding crashers are skilled at turning your special day into their special day. Immortalized on film by Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson, most newlyweds hope to avoid crashers on their big day, but not this bride and groom. When they started playing Shout, I saw some champagne popping. Uh, I was looking for it. Dan and Jessica Mealy got married here in Westchester, New York this week when we decided to soft crash their wedding. They were great sports. The beautiful bride even confessing she might want to dabble in a crash one day. You don't mind ever crashing your wedding, do you? No, no, no. Let's do that. fascination some have with going where they're not invited. Is it the free food, the open bar? That's what one bride and groom wanted to know after their wedding photos and videos included these moochers. I had asked around my side of the family and my husband's side of the family and made sure that they weren't somebody who I just hadn't met before and nobody had known them. The two can be seen boogieing on the dance floor, drinks in hand, practically going out of their way to be noticed. And now the perfect strangers are permanently part of this newlyweds photo album. They're all over mine and I can't really focus on the people that I want to focus on. Krista Riley took to Facebook to try and match a name with a face and the local media turned up the drama. The mystery of the identity of the wedding crashers has been solved. For Krista, at least, turns out the wedding crashers themselves noticed they had gone from the hunter to the hunted and reached out privately to the bride to apologize. Krista wouldn't reveal their identities. She says she forgives, but with this wedding album, how can she forget? I think it's tacky. I think it's rude because that's somebody's special day. So you may not know their name, but you probably recognize the type. Wedding crashers are not shy. It's not in their DNA. They're here to eat, they're here to dance, and they're here to drink. Sometimes they're here for a whole lot more. Watch as this guy enters the beautiful Tustin Ranch Golf Club in California. Cops say he swiped up all the cash and gift cards at a wedding reception here a few weeks ago. The suspect checks to see if the coast is clear, then covers the gift box with his jacket and makes a quick getaway. The uh, bride and groom did continue on and are currently honeymooning. We sent out the still photos along with the video from the surveillance photos. Hopefully that someone can identify this person. Does he look familiar to you? Because cops say this crasher is still at large. In a separate case, this Pennsylvania guy was caught after slipping into receptions and stealing 12 grand in cash, gifts, and even the bride's shoes. He finally got an invitation, but it was to the slammer for a minimum of four years. Back at the Mielli wedding, he spotted their gift box. It was positioned right where the experts say it should be, behind the couple, away from the exit, and with security standing nearby. How much do you think is sitting over there? 40, 30, 40, hoping Thousands? more. Yeah. Wow, so you better have some security guards on that. We do, we do. So if I try to make out with that gift box right now and make a mad dash for the exit, what would you do to me? I'm a girl. I know, but he told me. Wedding crashers thrive because most guests at a celebration don't want to ask that awkward question, who is that? But when they do, things can get pretty heated. Just watch this scene from What Would You Do? We wanted to see what would happen when guests discovered crashers at a wedding. The bride and groom were in on it, yeah! but the guests were not. Who do you know? Who do you know? Are you here with Bridget Sider? With uh, John's. John's. Yeah, I know John. The bride and groom both don't know you. Okay. Sit Family. Sit down. You sit down. You don't crash people's wedding like that. I'm sorry. I can leave He's right now. No, you're not leaving. You're going to be arrested. 
If wedding crashing seems like a young man's game, don't tell that to Sherry Stanfa Stanley. I was excited. I was filled with a lot of trepidation. When the writer from Ohio turned 52 last year, she decided it was time to break out of her comfort zone and break into a reception, complete with a cover story. My name was Shelly. If they asked who I was there with, I was there with Jim Miller, who used to work with the groom. Sherry had planned it all out, socializing with guests, enjoying a cold beer, until the bride threw something at her. The bouquet landed at Sherry's feet and all eyes were now on the wedding crasher. Everyone in the room was staring at me. It was the one thing Sherry hadn't planned on, but Sherry is a crasher with a conscience. Before exiting, she left a card and gift for the happy couple. So if you must crash a wedding, crash with class. Okay, and Mocha Lupa. Mocha Lupa. Yeah, to wedding crashers. Absolutely. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. So here's the question. Do you have a wedding horror story? Tweet us. Use the hashtag ABC2020.